Hi there. Um, I just want to do a quick review of this base. I've had it a few years now. I got it for my 50th. It was a sort of indulgent present on the bases. It was a cheap base, £120 for the basic base from Tolman. Uh, I put these Labella black nylon strings, which are about £50, £60, so they were relatively expensive, but they just feel beautiful. Uh, I got them because uh, this wonderful teacher on the internet, Jim Stinets, he um, uses them a lot on his bases, and he, I mean, he's a fantastic bassist, and they just sound great. Um, so I thought I'd get that. I also ordered a gig bag that came with it, and uh, a, a lead and a stand and things like that, some lemon oil, just to take the price of 120, uh, 200 pounds, so that it would come free effectively. Um, you know, you might as well make use of what you've ordered there. Um, when you put these nylon strings on, they're not as tense as the standard strings that come on it. So obviously you have to adjust the truss rod. Um, then you get the spanners with it. At least I did brand new. Um, it was quite easy to adjust. I have a feeling it's a two-way truss rod, but don't quote me on that. What I like about it, it's got humbuckers on it. The reason I want humbuckers in the church I play, if you see my other videos, you'll see that my single coils pick up, uh, certainly these rear pick up bridge pickup picks up a lot of the hearing loop and they insist on pushing the music through the for the hearing aid loop for the deaf people in the congregation so as a result i get a feedback loop which is not very good um bridge is nothing to write home about but it seems to work fine importantly it was earthed i didn't have to do anything to touch that the interesting thing about it is it's got active electronics and you modify it by pulling out and now we're in passive and you push down you're in active and a lot of bases, if the if the battery power goes, then you're stuck. So if we just do a little experiment here, I'm just pulling out the battery, and the battery's dead. That's a standard fender. I pull it up, it's working. And more importantly, you can hear that the tone knob is still acting as a passive tone knob. So this one at the back is the bass, this is the tone, this is the blend between them and this is the volume. The other really beautiful thing about this bass, um, I won't be able to show you on the video, I'll take my glasses off for a minute, but it's got a little picture, or sorry, it's got a hole on the back, let me, let me take it off a second, and there's a bigger hole on the, the left, or left hand side as I look at it, so that means that the Negative has to go in there. What does this mean? It means it's impossible to put the battery in the wrong way. And this is quite cool because a lot of instrument pedals don't have protection on them and you end up blowing your your very expensive pedal board or whatever. So this one stops you doing that, or at least, you know, yeah, it, it does stop you doing it. I've not managed to, to try and put it the wrong way. It only has dots on it. You see the fret dots. <laughs> There's no fret markers, but it does go up to the full two, uh, two octaves. It's got there. And what I did to intonate it, I used a credit card to get an edge because, you know, you have, I have fairly fat fingers. So if I, if I play just around this octave, just a little bit either side, we're getting quite a difference. So... If you're not careful and you were to use your finger to fret as you normally would, I, I very much doubt you're going to get consistency. But by using the edge of a credit card or possibly even a razor blade, if you do it gently about it, you can get an edge that's consistent and you can get... So we're pretty good there. I mean, that, that is... That's pretty good intonation. And so recently I got an SX bass, which was a fret, a fret, fretted conversion. And I play to the dots on this one, but the SX, the dot is in the middle of the fret. So I play a slightly different style on this one. But I have to say 120 pounds plus the strings. This is a very nice bass to play. I don't care, it's got no name on it. The tuning pegs are very disappointing. I, I don't know if it's meant to be a copy of a Yamaha or what, but they're, they're, they're kind of loose and a little bit loose and they sometimes just don't quite turn correctly. Um, 
again as i said when i put the strings on i had to adjust the truss rod uh, because they're not as tense as the other ones and it was just i think it's a two-way truss rod pretty straightforward the height action was quite straightforward there's just standard adjustment here and the intonation wasn't too bad um as i say i followed um jim stinnett's haven't already put up jim stinnett's um courses online and, and bought some of his books which are pretty good uh he does a lot to invest in bass so i figure invest in jim i don't get paid for this it's just that he's a nice guy by the looks of it um and you follow his sort of one finger per fret sort of and once you get used to that then you can sort of play the fretless and if you stay down this end it's fine um so if you play some sort of lick here You've got the ability to slide and it just feels nice and it's supposed to be more like um with this setup at least it's more like a, a sort of double bass you know upright bass uh, which is the sort of sound i'm after as you go higher up here it's a little bit more complicated close enough um, and for some of the hymns that we play it's just got a nice There's something really lovely about the bass. You've got the two octaves, although I, I'm a bit scared, a bit scared to blow up here too much because it's it really. Once you're up here, I think you've got to be super fretless. Down here, you can get away with it to a point. Um, and yeah, I, I, I love this guitar. I don't get too many noise problems with it. Um, the strings are just beautiful. Recently, I got an SX bass, which is a converted five string, as I said. So I got the extra string for the low B, and that's the only thing missing uh from this one but other than that i, I think it's just quite nice and a, a lot of people you know, they look for these vintage modified fenders which are very very nice this the squire or a good entry level but this is just either i'm incredibly lucky and got a very good version or you know they're quite nice but why would they send me a special one it, it come from toman uh they're, they're not going to look out for me particularly um and yes if you know how to set bases up a little bit it helps uh, but there's just something really quite beautiful about this so I hope you enjoy and yeah have fun and bye